You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, uh, welcome to CES Live. I'm John P. And I'm Renee Ritchie. And we have all kinds of wonderful content coming up for you. Uh, this is our very first interview of uh, the entire show, not just the day. And I'm excited to have Steve here from GM. Thanks, John. How are for, you? Thanks for inviting me. It's awesome. We're glad to have you. Yeah, we're, uh, we're really excited at General Motors to be here uh, on the floor of the uh, largest you know, consumer electronics show in the world. Um, and the, you know, the kind of the energy here is great. We had a big announcement on Sunday, a lot of journalists. And we're talking about a 4G car, a 4G connected car, and it's been nonstop media buzz ever since. I think not everyone understands that cars are consumer electronics now, that they have apps, that they have data connections. Is that something that's difficult for you to evangelize to get the word out about? I, you know, it's such in my DNA to have be part of the connected car experience. I've been with uh, General Motors OnStar for 17 years, and we're kind of the original connected vehicle, right? Airbag goes off, it's original app, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Your airbags deploy, there's OnStar, help when you need it. We've never lost that commitment, but now we're taking that connect connectivity to the next level. And, and we've been doing that year over year, but now it's like almost off the charts. Well, it's nice because you guys did, you really were pioneers in that area and you had the connected car via the, the cellular networks and things. So I guess that gave you a huge boost to start with millions and millions of, of existing subscribers to be able to then roll out additional features and technology. Right, it gave us a boost with the subscriber base, but it also gave us a lot of learnings, right? You can't just, this is space is, is fairly intimidating, right? For anybody to get into. And so you, you learn along the way in terms of how to deal with your customers. What are the things you have to do to truly deliver a connected vehicle experience? Um, you know, things for, people forget the fact that your car today gives you an email and tells you how it's doing. Oh yeah. Every month, every month. And that's because you have that connectivity in there. So now with 4G, we're going to take that connectivity to a whole new level. And what we're doing is we're going to power an app shop with the 4G embedded connection. So it's not only there to save your life, but it's also there to help you personalize your vehicle. So we have an app shop and you can download apps into your car that fit your lifestyle. So you want to listen to like slacker music, you can download the Slacker app. My favorite kind of personality thing that we bring in there is Kaliki, which is a magazine, uh, new, it reads back magazines to you. And like while you're driving, you yeah. could like get it to read, like it was an audio book kind yeah, of situation. Yeah, like an audio book, but it, 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 it's, it's, you know, what I can do is I can actually listen into OK Magazine and get the latest scoop on the Kardashian family. <laughs> nice. You know? And so I'm a geek, but I also like, you know, kind of those types of things. So uh -huh. it can fit my lifestyle, and I think that's a great example of how you can personalize that experience for who you are and make that car your own. So people are used to having 4G now on their phones, on their tablets. You mentioned the app, so what does 4G enable you to do that you couldn't do before you had it? Yeah, well, it, that's, you know, I'm more excited about what people are going to do with yeah. it as opposed to what we're doing today with it. Today we can stream music with it. Um, you can bring in you know, uh, you know, images and content that way. But you know, for me, the idea of what came first, broadband, high-speed internet, or YouTube, right? Yeah. Let's put that connectivity in the vehicles and then let's open it up to, develop, to developers. That's what we're doing with this app shop. It's not just General Motors. It's we're, we're inviting the world to come in and write apps take advantage of that high-speed connectivity, and let's see what ideas they can bring to life inside a car. You know, one thing that I, I, I because I'm a car guy and I'm a geek, and, and I, 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 frankly, I like to go fast. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things that I've been, I've been really wanting to see in a car is some kind of cool uh, G meter track kind of application that really captures all of my performance data and lets me share it socially. It gives and you bragging it. rights. Yeah, <laughs> heck yeah, really. And so I, I, you know, I've had this dream ever since I heard that you guys were, were putting apps was for somebody to build an app that gives me all that in my dash and then allows me to 
just share it on Google Plus or Twitter or whatever, you know, and and, and I just can't wait. You, it, for those of you who are developers out there, please go get the uh, development kit and build that for me, okay? <laughs> uh, how awesome would that be in like the new VET, for example? Well, I, got, I hate to burst your bubble, Yeah. But Sunday night we showed that off. We called it Performance Data Recorder. It's already done, Don. Then, then my dream is You're met. welcome. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're driving around this track, right? Yeah. You have a video image of where you're driving, and it's also recording all the parameters that are relevant to you as a performance driver being fed back to you. And then how you do you can, get the video image? The car you, has a camera in it? The car has a camera in it. So it's a special system that we're putting in. It's not just the app shop, but we showed okay. that off as one of the things that we can do. Um, and then think about then uploading that when you're done with that race. Oh and my God! sharing it with your friends. Does right? it capture the GPS data around it the track? It carries the GPS data oh. around the track. I mean, this thing is so cool, and it's tailored right in that sweet spot for Corvette drivers. This was done at, you know, at, at not on normal roads, right? It was done on a, a safe track yeah. environment, and these guys are just you know, sharing their, let's, let's look what we just did with yeah. that car. It, Tech Freak called it the bragging app. The, the bragging, bragging app. app. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's Absolutely. the interesting thing is that it's not, the connection does not just for you and the car, it enables all the other devices and things around you, like GPS, like cameras. It sort of gives you that connected environment that we've been looking for for all these years. Renee, you're absolutely right. I mean, this, this comes in with built-in Wi-Fi is what it is, right? You got this 4G high-speed data pipe into your car, and then you can share it with up to seven different devices in and around your vehicle so that your kids in the back seat can be using their tablets and either playing the games. We can actually filter content if we want to as well. They can be watching movies. I mean, it really brings that whole digital experience into the car, and we can't get there soon enough with General Motors and putting this 4G technology in our cars. I can just imagine, because road trips, you just did a road oh, trip. Oh yeah. They are not easy to coordinate, and usually you have the dumb car, maybe a couple smart devices, but I can envision a future where you're traveling with your friends or families, and your cars just know where each other are, yeah. and your trips just know where each other are, and I will not be lost, stuck at that gas station, begging anyone <laughs> to come help me again. <laughs> well, Renee, I got an app for you. <laughs> you got your app, I got, I got my app. For you, it's called Glimpse, right? Awesome. And so <laughs> Glimpse, I mean, a lot of people know what Glimpse is, yep. right? It's a very, it's a popular app. We've built a version of it. We're showing it today on the floor awesome. over in the North Hall. In your Chevrolet vehicle, you can send a glimpse of where you're at to your friends, and it shows the exact location. Now, don't tell my wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I told her I, I, I was on the way home. home. I yeah. already left home, you know, I already left work. and. Uh, so McDonald's. Send me, send me a glimpse. <laughs> oh, oh, you haven't? Oh, yeah. well, in a it's, minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the nice thing about Glimpse and about these technologies that you can share with the people you want for as long as you want. Right. It still respects your privacy, but it lets you do all these fantastic things. Yeah, Renee, you hit it on, because uh, privacy is so important to yeah. us, right? And we take, and that's part of being that growing up with OnStar, and we understand what it means to take privacy very seriously. So we do. You give customers choice and you disclose what you're going to do, and you're in a pretty good shape. Now we have lawyers to help us of course. through <laughs> that piece, but that's what you do. You, you kind of, you, it, that's part of the advantage, right, of working for General Motors, a $160 billion company. There's a lot of resources, a lot of talented resources at General Motors, especially around distracted driving and safe driving. Yes. So every app that we're going to put in the car is going to be vetted by professionals in Milford, Michigan, and they take it through the simulators and make sure that that app is going to be safe. Because you know what, I drive on the same roads, Renee, yeah. that you and John drive on. I'm not about to put something <laughs> out there that's going to endanger my kids' yeah. lives yeah. or my wife or m myself, right? And so we want everyone to be safe. And so that's why we have an app shot. We call it a curated app shot. Yep. Only the stuff that we certify is going to actually get in the customer's vehicles. And Quickness in the chat room is saying that you can actually maybe record what's happening in your environment so you can have a document if anything bad happens to you. you, you know, if you get stuck or if you do anything, you know where you are, you can tell the person where you are, you can record the things around you, you can, you can do all these things you could never do before. Well, exactly. you know, that, that makes sense too because you're already, uh, one of the trends we see, and especially in some other countries like I've heard in Russia and places, they have little video recorders that are just always running because if there's an, uh, an accident or something they want the A meteor shower? Right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, I mean, this is the next logical step. I mean, as, as, as anything is open, right? Anything. Anybody can build any kind of app that taps into the car's resources, right. records it, shares it, does whatever, uh, manipulate the data, right? I, I'm big about this concept of enablers. You put the right enablers, 4G, high-speed connectivity to the vehicle, an app framework, 
APIs to the vehicle and then let everyone's imaginations go. And then, and, then, and then see what happens, what makes sense for you versus you know your neighbor, right? Yeah. Not everyone needs a Kaliki app, nope. but some people it's going to really, really work really well for. In fact, we had a hackathon. You know what hackathons are, yep. obviously. Um, it's where we invite a bunch of people in and say, let's use that uh, SDK, the, the software development kit that we have for the vehicle, and let's um, see what ideas they come up with, came up with. We had 15 year olds that developed an app to help teach 15 year olds that are learning to drive how to drive better. That's awesome. I know, it's like, you, you will who would have thought this? You will never ever imagine the kind of things that people will come up with and it'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing is that the learning environment that you enable when you have a student in a car for the first time, you could probably keep track of what they're doing well, what they're not doing well, and help them save a lot of time that was before, ah, ah this is confusing, and now really narrow down on where they need help. Absolutely, absolutely. And the other ideas that, I've, that I like to do is that, you know, kids today, they do get in the car and they're a little consumed with texting their friends and stuff like that. I want a, someone to develop an app that's going to help me interact with my family a little bit more while I'm driving. Yeah. You know what I mean? And teach my daughter the road systems at, yeah. at the age of 14 so she's not learning it at 16. Yeah, that would be you great. You know, those types of things and make it interesting. I mean, that's what apps do. They can make your life even more interesting. So. Ubershal Samara in the chat room is asking where developers can go to find more information about developing for this. GMdeveloper.com. Nice and easy. They can get the SDK, they can start working Absolutely, on Absolutely, they can sign up. We have 3,700 people that have already signed up for this. That's awesome. It. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're, we're almost out of time, but I do want to ask a couple of quick questions about the new announcement, the 4G. W which networks are we going to be able to implement um, in these vehicles, and, and w when should we start seeing it in what vehicles? Okay, so the announcement that came out, we're going to see it on a, a variety of, uh, a whole spectrum of uh, Chevrolet vehicles. That was the announcement. Kay. Starting in the 2015 model year, which is just around the corner. You're going to see it from the Spark, to the Corvette, to the Silverado. It's going to be on a, almost all the Chevrolet vehicle lineup in 2015. US and Canada, we're using AT&T as our carrier for LTE. Um, Verizon is still a partner of ours. They've been a long time partner. We're, but we're going to use the AT&T network for LTE the broadest, you know, largest coverage, fastest network out there, and we're ready to go. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming and spending some time with us on the show today. You guys, I uh, hope you have a great CES 2014. It's been great so far, and uh, I'm just looking for forward to talking to more app developers here on the show floor and seeing those ideas come into our website, and let's get going. Awesome. So they should come find you. Yeah. Absolutely. Come and find me. Okay, you guys, you don't have to go anywhere for us. We're going to keep coming at you with more coverage here from CES. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more.